This is the Tundra Labs Super Dongle SW7. This comes in three different variations. One that allows you to pair three trackers, another one that allows you to pair five trackers, and the one that I'm showing you today, which allows you to pair a whopping seven VR trackers to your computer, only using one USB port. At home motion capture just got that much better. And this is super awesome. And I feel a little bit weird to be so excited over a little tiny USB dongle. If, if any of you are like me, whether no matter which version that you're looking for, this is actually super, super amazing. As someone who currently uses 10 Vive trackers on the regular, this basically has turned this into this. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with VR tracking previously, the only trackers that you could really use were these trackers provided by HTC. And basically you would either get the Vive Tracker 2.0 or the 3.0 that you see here. And they would come with a little tracking puck, a cable and these little USB docks and a little tiny USB receiver. And the main problem was, is that if you had multiple, you needed to you actually needed to have a, a receiver for every single Vive tracker that you had. So most commonly, people would have three Vive trackers to use for full body tracking in games like VR Chat, or there would be people like me who would have ten. Is like, and you might be thinking, oh, that's not so bad. I might just get a USB hub. Now, let me dive into why these super dongles, or um, as as Tundra seems to be lovingly calling them dongle McDongle face with the traditional VR tracker setup, when you have each receiver for each VR tracker that you had, the problem with traditional VR trackers that you have right now that you might be seeing on the screen is that if you put them too close to each other, like the actual USB receivers, they can actually interfere with each other. So this becomes really problematic if you have, let's say more than one. And tr so generally the rule of thumb was you have to kind of spread them out. And in my case, uh, you might have to end up getting really creative if you have 10 of them and you have to try to spread them out. So there's zero crosstalk between them. And that's, I, I basically had to like mount them to my desk, to my monitor. I've even tried mounting them to like this weird antenna like tower. What's really, really great is that it turns all of that into one port. So there's almost no crosstalk. I've immediately seen a huge improvement in VR tracking. I get a lot less drifting because they're not it's not competing with itself for picking up all of the trackers. And another pro this also solves another problem that some people might have had is when you have too many USB devices connected to kind of like one port it can kind of start causing some other problems on your computer. And this basically eliminates that because like I said, in my case, it, it turned 10 USB ports into two USB ports. And for most people, it's going to turn six USB ports into one USB port. For those of you who are doing full body mocap with VR, I've seen another person's video talking about the Tundra trackers who is thrill seeker. I believe their experience was a little bit different from mine because I kind of just unplugged all of my Vive receivers and then just plugged in the super dongle and hoped everything went well, and it didn't. <laughs> if you are having any issues when you get your hands on the Tundra USB receiver or dongle McDongle face, I can never get used to calling it that, all you need to do is go into your Steam menu, go to developer options, and then remove all USB devices and then unplug all of the USB devices from your computer, and then you're gonna have to restart. Once your computer is restarted, restart Steam VR, and then start gradually plugging in each of these devices. But in this case, it was just the headset and dongle McDongle face. From there, you're gonna see um, a bunch, in my case, once you plug in my, the one receiver, depending on which one you get, you're gonna see a bunch of like virtual receivers be connected to your computer. And then once that's done, you can begin pairing your Vive trackers as you would normally. And it was very, very simple, easy, and quick making it so that it's now down to one USB port changes so many things, allowing for a much more cleaner setup 
without needing to have a bunch of cables or wires like routing everywhere to make sure that it gets like optimal signal. And for all of you VR mocap enthusiasts, it means easier, cleaner, less interference VR mocap with applications like virtual motion capture and Madness VR, which are both things that I covered on this channel. As of recording this video, the Tundra dongles aren't very available. I've actually got it on the Kickstarter, but I would say if you are able to get your hands on one or pre-order it, for me, it's basically a no brainer recommendation, whether you are just dabbling into VR and getting in the full body, or you wanna get super serious with your VR setup and you wanna turn it into a VR mocap. And a super nice bonus is that if you ever end up upgrading to a full body motion capture suit like a Rokoko, it means that there's gonna be a lot less interfer wireless interference that could possibly interfere with your suit. This has been Fofamit and hopefully you enjoyed the video. And um, thank you once again to all of my patrons on Patreon. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do everything that I do. Thank you again so much. Oh, also you can join and become a member. Click below. Bye-bye.